All right, guys, today we're looking at a game called Invisigun Heroes on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm super excited to show you guys this game because this game originally came out on the PC. And if you guys are fans of local multiplayer games, Fight to the Death, kind of like Towerfall and stuff like that, this is one that probably went underneath a lot of people's radars because it didn't come out for anything else. It came out on PC. It was a really well-received game by the people who talked about it. And then, for some odd reason, didn't release on Xbox or PS4 or anything. And here we are on the Nintendo Switch, the official release for this game. And I'm excited to dive into the gameplay, check this out with you guys, and show you guys what makes this game special. Let's go ahead and dive in. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Alright guys, so here we are with Invisigun Reloaded on the Nintendo Switch. Now, this game was actually a PC exclusive for a very long time. I was actually pretty shocked at the fact that this didn't come to any other console or anything. Um, not on Xbox One, not on PS4, nothing. It was just on PC. And while I love the game on PC and I still play it to this day, I'm surprised it never came to any other consoles because, as you guys are going to find out, um, the game is, you know, has a lot of options, has a lot of good multiplayer and stuff, and I'm going to dive in and show you guys now what exactly this game is about, what makes this game so unique compared to other games in the genre, kind of like Towerfall and, and games like that. So we'll see what this one does here differently. But before we get into that, let's talk about what's on the main menu here real quick. There is a full story mode you can do. This is called The Hero's Journey. You can see the little picture on the top, which is, you know, with one. So that's you can play through the whole story there if you want. There's a create a battle, uh, which is where you do with your friends uh, locally. We're going to be getting into that here in a minute. Um, there's play online, of course. You can go ahead and play online against other people. So it does support online and it does support cross-platform on the PC as well. So you can actually, um, you know, play against PC people and on um, console as well. So that will do good. And uh, there is research guide, a research lab to learn about the game and a field guide and all the hero profiles or stats in the game. You can do a tutorial if you wanted to, and of course some options and credit. But Let's go ahead and dive into the creative battle here to show you guys some of the modes and how this game actually plays. So, in the battle, you can see that there's a few different variety here. There's the core stealth set. You can see each one. This one's um, each round, the last player standing gets a point. This one is hero will automatically respawn after each death, and you have to control a certain zone. This one here is you score a point for every hero that's killed. So, it favors obviously being a little bit more offensive and stuff. Uh, beast, uh, beast Tamer is uh, you have to tame the wild beast by standing in the end and collect them for the rewards to win. So you have to go around killing all these things and get the rewards. And, and this is more for the casual party setting. Um, you have to grab this and, and be in control of it the longest uh, and you get to ride it. Um, here is the hero with the most kills before the deadline wins. So there's a time limit here and you keep respawning. And um, you this is like capture the flag basically. You grab it and you have to hold it in your color. So, those are the different modes in the game. The game that I know that I play the most is, uh, is it this one? Yeah, the last hero uh, standing in a match. Well, actually, sorry, no, it's Hunter. Score point for every hero that you kill. So, even if you're the last one standing, but, you know, the person before you got two kills, that all counts. So, let's go ahead and do Hunter. So, there's a lot of different variety in the maps here. that They do it by planets. So, you can see there's this one, this one, this one, and this one, and that one. So a lot of different, and that one too. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, maps that you can do. And you can just do all the maps, and then you'll go through and cycle through each map. Each one has obviously a theme that you can do. So you can see that there's a variety of maps within each one. So you can see those are snow now. So a lot of different variety in the uh, map design and stuff. And you can see. Uh, a little blue uh, thing on the bottom means I'm only halfway through the map, so I was scrolling the whole entire time, and I was only halfway through. So there's a lot of variety here. To keep, uh, there's an insane amount of maps. Just look at this. I'll be here all day, and you can see how different some of them are, uh, and how crazy some of them get, like just by a little bit of a snippet there. So let's start with the uh, first one, the most basic, just to give you guys an idea of what it's like. You can do the kills. We'll do up to five in this case. You can edit power-ups in the game, and you can put how often they drop. And what's best is you can actually play with bots. So we're going to leave these on medium. And uh, you can even invite your friends to play on a private server. So it has all the options to play with randos or, you know, to also play with your friends. Or you can play locally. You can play with bots. So all the options are here that you would want in a game uh, with this kind of thing. So all the characters here, as you can see. Um, does it tell you on here? 
So you can see here that they all have a different ability. So you can see here, cover a lot of ground quickly while using the quick and short burst of speed. Uh, you know, they each have their own little ability and each have a reason to actually play with them. Um, so I'm going to use this one. And you can do all different shot styles, so a lot of customization there. Uh, we'll do a default for now. And that's your, your, your basic moves, fire. Use your ability. Start match. We'll put the AI people in here. That does little pro tips and stuff while you're starting the game, of course. And the premise of this game, now that we're about to show it off, that makes it interesting is everybody sees where everybody is at the start of the map. We all hit ready. And now everybody moves around the map, and you can see we're now all invisible. No one has any idea where anybody is. Except when you shoot, you actually see. And I'm the blue guy, for those who uh, don't know. I'm about to get killed, but I actually did it. Oh! Um, I just got... No, I got that round. Okay. Uh, I got two kills that round, actually, and it gives you a little replay. So, you can see that... There's a lot of strategy in this game and a lot of different things you can do and that doesn't even count all the power-ups and stuff and you know depending on how the map plays but even in this basic map you know there's a lot of strategy in this game and you definitely get better as you play because you learn especially in a map you learn how to move because you learn how to memorize and you can see the pattern and not only do you see each other when you actually move um, and it always gives you like a little bit of a an insult kind of thing um, within each one um, but not only do you see yourself when you shoot, but if you run into something, you can kind of see. So you'll see me here at the top. I'm going to do this on purpose, so... This guy gets away from me. So if you hit something, you see I'm hitting the tree there in the top corner? And I knew he was there because I saw him flashing, but you can see that when you hit that, it starts flashing. So you get an idea of where people are because if they hit something by accident... But, you know, if you go around everything and you get good and you don't hit the side of the map or anything then you can really sneak around and, uh, you know, not get caught, basically, in this. And we haven't even seen, I haven't even been paying attention to the power-ups. But you can see you get a couple seconds in the very beginning to run. I'm going to go to the corner here. So you see on the top right, if I'm hitting, going that direction, I'm obviously hitting the wall. Now I'm moving across the map straight ahead without hitting anything. And I should be around the middle. Uh, that's where I thought I was. that time um, with an instant replay so that was actually five kills in a row didn't expect to not five kills in a row but I got five kills there pretty quickly um, but that gives you guys an idea you can easily and quickly just change the map so let's go to one of the other maps towards the end that get a little bit even more crazy than uh, the one from the beginning um, let's see what we can pick out let's do this Got a little achievement. I don't know why it's saying first kill because I was playing this on the Switch before, even though I played this a lot on PC. And I had played this already on here. So I had played this already on here, so I don't know why it's telling me to first kill. But anyway, either way. So you, uh, yeah, guys, there's just a lot of different options. We haven't even seen the power ups because I, we've been killing people so fast. So you can alter that number to be 10 seconds or 5 seconds, which I, if you want to go crazy, that's what you can do. Or you can just turn them off completely. But I knew that, that guy was going to come back over there. Uh, am I over here? Yeah. So I don't know where this other guy is right now. And if you see, I'm in the water right now. So is that guy. We were both in the water at the same time and I got him. You can see when you're in the water, it starts splashing water. So you can kind of see where I was. See? If you see me moving here in a minute, see my move, you can see the water splashing. And you can see him coming with the splash. So I knew he was right next to me. So there's little cues to tell you where you are, but... You know, you're invisible if you're not touching anything or moving any sort of water, basically. So, it's not like any other game I've played, and it's really, really competitive and really strategic gameplay um, in this game, as, as far as this goes. And let's see if we can catch where um, a power-up is. 
but you know, if we're gonna survive long enough to actually see one, because it takes so many seconds, maybe we should have changed it. I had a feeling you was gonna be standing there. Is this girl there? Yes, she is. So I knew that I, once I shot that guy, the girl, the pink girl was probably gonna be coming up right on that me, so. Um, you can kind of get cues and stuff like that, but there's a, there's 20 different power. I believe there's 20 different power ups that do all do different things. You know, raise your attack speed. Um, you know, raise your your damage. Your sorry, your how many bellets you can use at the same time. There's some zany ones too. We'll see if we can get to the main menu and look at them all. Um, since we're obviously not going to see them a lot on here because it's set to 20 seconds and these matches are not even lasting 10 seconds. So I got my fifth kills and the match ended immediately, so that's basically what that was. So that gives you guys a little bit of an idea of, of what the gameplay is like, but let's see if there is any way to get to the actual um, power-ups in here. Does it show you what in the field guide? So this is, as you can see, it gives you a little bit of a, a tutorial of all the different planets on what they are. So you can see that you can destroy the bushes. Um, you have to hit the tree stumps two times to destroy that. Um, so it causes small splashes while running in the water, like we saw. So each planet has its own little its own little cues on what you're actually looking for. So you can see that there's there's just a lot of different things you can do in this game and a lot of uh, um, things that change, so like the rocks don't construct in this one, so you won't be able to do that. Um, mine carts that are coming in and out, so there's just a lot of, a lot of different things that come in here. Come down to here, this is actually where the power-ups are, so we were on the right track here, it is in the field guide, so the power-ups are here, and you can see all the power-ups that are in the game, so just, uh, decrease of invis invisible on reload time, increase the velocity of projectiles that you're shooting, increase your shield, health, uh, so you can take a hit before you actually get killed, you know, all sorts of different power-ups and abilities that you can gather. Um, so, and here's the ability boost that you can grab. Um, so if you grab this little purple drink when it comes out, it will boost your actual ability that your character has. So, there's just a lot going on in this game, uh, in a good way, and a lot of different options and a lot of different ways to play um, this game, uh, like I said. Um, but that gives you guys a taste of what the actual gameplay is like. So, uh, let's go ahead and get to the table. I'm going to break this game down for you guys and give you my final thoughts on it. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, guys, so that was Invisigun Heroes on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I've been a big fan of this game, as you guys heard when I was talking about it during the gameplay, since this game came out on the original PC. And while I played on the PC and I knew it was a great game on the PC, it's obviously a lot harder to get four people around the monitor uh, to play this with your friends. So even though I had online, it wasn't really a go-to game that I would bring out when I had four people over like Towerfall in those games are because getting four people around a, you know, even though I have a 32-inch monitor, it's still not easy when you're on a desk, like, to get fit four chairs around there and stuff, so it just wasn't something we did when there were so many other games in there, so I was surprised that it never came to any other system, and I was even more surprised because I didn't hear about it when I got announced for the Switch because it kind of came out of nowhere for me because I wasn't really paying attention for it, and I'm super glad it finally did because this gives a chance for more people to realize what this game is and, and realize how unique it is and how much strategy there is with this game, and this is everything the PC game was, but now in portable form, or putting it on your TV easier around, your, you know, to play with four people locally, but as you guys can see in the gameplay, the gameplay is so much fun, there's so much uh, creative ways you can win in the game, uh, a lot of strategy with, you know, being invisible and stuff like that, trying to hit through the, um, you know, with the main mechanic obviously being that you start off the match invisible after two or three seconds, but... A lot of things affect that. Running into walls like we showed, going through the water, it throws water up in the air so you know that you're walking through the water, or your enemies are walking through the water. All those things, uh, you know, hitting uh, a rock or something, and then you obviously shoot, and when you shoot, you become, and everybody sees where you are on the map. So there's just a lot of strategy and moving around when you get to know the map and you get to walk around the map without even, you know, by memorizing your count and steps and not even doing anything. It just gets crazy, crazy. And even if you don't, you're just playing it for fun. Um, and not memorizing the map and taking it to that extra level. This is just a, such a fun and unique 
way of playing, you know, a four-player versus kind of game mode, uh, game like Towerfall and all the other games that exist out there. And this one really stands out from the crowd. This is easily, has always been and will always be in my top five, um, you know, style local multiplayer games where you're fighting to the death, basically. This is always going to be in my top five. And now just having it on the Switch makes it that much easier. Graphic style is awesome. The content in this game is obviously ridiculous. You guys saw that in the gameplay. There's like six or seven different modes. There's like God knows how many maps. I couldn't even count because there were so many that you guys saw me flipping through. Online multiplayer, local multiplayer, private matches with your friends, random matches with other people, cross-play with uh, PC. Like They literally went and like ticked a box on everything they needed in this game. And it's just so much fun to play. And I'm super excited that it's on the Switch and I can carry this with me anywhere. And now play it on a big screen TV easily with four friends. And I hope, um, you know, I hope that the developer sees that it was a good idea to bring it to the Switch and it does well for them because I, I think they had a great game when it came out on PC. Very unique. And uh, now it's on the Switch. So, guys, if there's anything you guys have any questions about about this game, as always, leave those questions down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Gaming Tech is the Gaming Tech. Gaming Techie. Gaming Tech. Eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming techie.